It was another night of very heavy rainfall across portions of the Wabash Valley. Well, we've had a wet summer so far and flooding has become a problem. Storm Team 10's David Seipel has more on how you can stay safe. Flooding kills more people than any other weather related hazard. That's according to the National Weather Service, but there are ways to make sure you are not caught up in the current. The Wabash Valley is very unique compared to the rest of Indiana and Illinois. The Wabash River and its many streams and creeks that feed into it can all become flooded at a moment's notice. Areas in Park County received upwards to two and a half inches of rain in less than 12 hours. This flooding shown here occurred along Green Creek in Park County, which flows into Sugar Mill Creek and then goes into Sugar Creek, all eventually dumping out into the Wabash River. It's like a domino effect. When one creek floods, the other is bound to rise. Rushing water over roadways is always an area of concerns for drivers. If a car were to go through an area like this, the vehicle weight is overcome by the buoyancy force of the water. Then the car will be lifted off the road and carried downstream. Six inches of fast moving water can sweep an adult away, and one foot of water can carry a small car away. Statistics from the National Weather Service show that 15 deaths occurred in Indiana and 27 occurred in Illinois from 2010 to 2018. Driving in flooded roadways put yourself and others in danger. I've said it a thousand times and I'll say it a thousand times more. Turn around, don't drown. Reporting in studio, David Seipel, Storm Team 10.